That's right. Good morning, Carrie. A lot of folks don't usually correlate uh, climate change with fog, but there is a direct correlation right now. I'm in front of the iconic Golden Gate Bridge, and it is a really clear morning. We're out here quite frequently, and there's some mornings where you can't even see that color from the bridge because the fog is so thick. But researchers have been tracking that data for a while, and they say climate change is playing into how often we see that fog. So according to researchers, this was reported by the San Francisco Examiner, um, an integrative biologist at UC Berkeley studied fog patterns since the early 1950s and found about 33% of a decrease since the early 20th century. Now that researcher also found that Carl or Carl as it's known here in the Bay is starting and stopping earlier and all mainly due to climate change. This morning, as Carrie mentioned, we're also taking a look at that water that drenched the Bay Area just a couple of days ago. That atmospheric river did a number on many parts of the Bay flooding roads and leaving some drivers stranded, but did it make much of a difference in our rain totals? Now, Carrie did touch on that a bit, but so did the San Francisco Chronicle, and overall their answer is no. The Chronicle cites that the State Department of Water Resources, who compiles the numbers, shows that even after all of that rain on Sunday and Monday, many of the state reservoirs are still holding less water than the historic level. There are a few outliers that Carrie mentioned, uh, but that largest reservoir, Shasta Lake, still has has only about 41% of the amount of water it would normally have this time of year. And it is important to note there's some communities like here in Marin, uh, they still have water restrictions in place because of the lower water total. So with all of that rain, I know the first question I thought of is, are we in the clear when it comes to fire danger? Well, the answer to that question as well in part is no. Press Democrat recently took a closer look at that issue and found while the ground may be saturated in some parts of the bay, we all know that wind really has has the potential to be an issue. So although the rain did help, the wind many times pays a large part in just starting and spreading the wildfire. So some good news um, for some parts of the bay, but we still need to keep a close eye on the wind and we get a big enough windstorm, we could be in a little bit of trouble. We're live in Marin County, Sierra Johnson for Today in the Bay.